Guys, hundreds gathered here this afternoon to stand in solidarity with the Standing Rock Sioux Nation. Now, this is the only Army Corps of Engineers office within 500 miles. That's why a lot of people came to show support from all over. Protesters say an oil pipeline opens the door for environmental disaster and threatens the drinking water for the Standing Rock Nation. We've had situations where those pipelines have leaked under bodies of water and caused real problems. And we're talking about, you know, one of the major rivers in the country. Energy Transfer Partners wants to build the Dakota pipeline across several states and close by Standing Rock lands. However, they need the Army Corps of Engineers approval. Protest organizers say there's almost 400 people here outside of the Army Corps of Engineers office, and many of them have signs like this. Water is life protesting the oil pipeline from Energy Transfer Partners that wants to go underneath the Missouri River. The Standing Rock Tribe's pipeline dilemma resonates with native people from New Mexico. I'm standing with my uh, native people across, across the nation, all tribes. <laughs> We're here today to tell the Army Corps of Engineers, don't grant that permit. There it was never enough consultation with indigenous groups. Organizers say New Mexico is an ideal state to hold protests against the Dakota Pipeline because there's so much tribal land in the state and New Mexicans can identify with wanting to keep that land sacred. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers decided yesterday that they need more input from the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe before making a decision on whether to grant that easement to build the pipeline. Now, the Standing Rock chairman said that shows these protests are working. Live in Northeast Albuquerque, Chris Bordaro, KOAT Action 7 News.